Well, hello YouTube, I'm John Can. I'm just getting home from my day at work. You can see my beagle over there sniffing around. Um, not gonna lie to you guys, I haven't been doing too awesome lately. Been kinda down and whatnot, which I think a lot of people are. The COVID and the quarantine and whatnot has kinda got people not feeling so awesome. Um, for me, something that really helps to get over the hump and keep going is a little bit of comfort food. You know, you know kinda eat your feelings or whatever you wanna say. But, in particular, my grandmother always made, like, cobblers and things like that. They lived up in the mountains. We were able to go pick uh, fresh rhubarb. There was a couple patches of it that grew, and it was really awesome to have, like, a strawberry rhubarb cobbler. So, today, we're going to go ahead and make a strawberry rhubarb cobbler. It's not a typical recipe, a little bit different than your normal cobbler, um, but it's something I really enjoy. I would encourage anybody who hasn't ever had rhubarb to go find, you know, a local source uh, store or farmer's market and give it a try. So, yeah, I'm going to get cleaned up, got, you know, my dirty grungy shirt on, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm home and I've had a chance to change, clean up a little bit, and we're going to pick some rhubarb out of my rhubarb patch here. The rhubarb looks kind of like celery, and the gist of it is we reach in here, find a nice big stalk and just kind of give it a pull. This is what you get. You cut the leaf off and cut the base end of it off there and wash it up and it's ready to go. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, now that we've got our rhubarb picked, we are ready to start putting our cobbler together. The rhubarb, if you're buying it from the store, should come in stalks, it should look similar to this. Probably what you would buy would be a little more red, um, typically the rhubarb is. This is kind of a wild type of rhubarb or an older style, you know. So it's a little different, a little greener in color, but the color doesn't really matter too much. So we're gonna set it off to the side for a second here. Um, we're gonna be cooking all this in a nine by 13 pan so that there's plenty because I like to eat, you know, food's good. Um, first thing we're gonna do is put our strawberries in. Now I had frozen strawberries. You can put fresh strawberries in there, it won't matter too much. But these were convenient for me. I've got just a bag of them in the freezer, so that's what I've got. Uh, about four cups of them, and I'm just gonna dump them in here and kind of spread them out evenly on the bottom of the pan. You see that it's not real deep in there. We don't have a ton of strawberries. Of course, if you get big chunks of strawberries, you wanna kind of cut them up. You don't need great big, huge pieces of strawberry in there. So slice them down to where they're, you know, less than half an inch across is probably pretty good. Okay, ready to cut up our rhubarb. I like to be a little heavy on the rhubarb. I'm gonna go with these four stalks and this little extra one. Um, which should give me probably about four cups of rhubarb, maybe five. You know, you can make this about half and half and that would be just about right. And we're just gonna slice it up. Nothing fancy. cut up. All we're really going to do at this point is just kind of pour it on top of our strawberries and then kind of stir it in. We've got that stirred up pretty evenly. It looks kind of like strawberries and celery put together in there. Uh, my friend Becky calls this stuff dessert celery. She's not totally wrong, although it is not related to celery. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cup of packed brown sugar. And then, just a cup of plain old sugar. Lots of sugar because the rhubarb is very tart. And we'll give that a good stir. Okay, sugar stirred in there. I like to sprinkle the top of this with cinnamon. You know, there's no real good measurement for it. And then just kind of remix that in there. Cinnamon goes pretty well with the strawberry and the rhubarb combo. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit to bring out the flavor of everything. Okay, we've got that put together. We're gonna set it off to the side for a second and do the next stage of this thing. Uh, we're gonna need just a little bowl, flour, sugar, and I've got a stick of butter melted in here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to 
get a cup of flour and a cup of sugar. Put them in our little bowl. And we're gonna pour about half of our butter in with this mixture. I like that, maybe a little more than half. I'm gonna take a fork. And we're gonna stir that up until it's kinda chunky. Oh, I'm making a mess. And you kind of want to cut it up because you want it to kind of form these granules. So it'll look about like that. Kind of kind of like some weird play sand or something. I'm going to bring our rhubarb and strawberry back over here. I'm going to put about half of this Kind of spread it around like that. And you're going to stir that in next until it's fairly well mixed. And this is going to be our thickening agent. We're going to take the rest of our flour stuff here. We're going to spread it out on top of our rhubarb cobbler. Like so. And just kind of spread it around. Just like that. Just to make sure everything's kind of even. You kind of give it a little poke here and there just to kind of get some of the rhubarb and stuff on top. Not very much though. Out like that. I'm gonna take the rest of our butter, just kind of drizzle it over the top. Like that. That is what you're gonna put in your oven. So I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it in there and we're gonna cook this for about an hour. I think 50 minutes is what it typically takes to get this done. But it's more of a, you look at it and see when it's done. It'll be bubbly and brown on top. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven and get that going. Okay, our kitchen timer is just about to go off. It's been 50 minutes, so let's see what we've got. Ooh, been all bubbly and stuff. Hmm, not quite golden brown on top yet. We're gonna give it about 10 more minutes and see how it looks. Let's see what we've got in here. Quiet. Ooh, super bubbly and delicious. That looks pretty good. It looks so tasty. Okay, got that out of the oven. It is super hot, so we're just gonna let it sit here for about 20 minutes and we're ready to try it out. Okay, we've got our cobbler ready to go. It is cooled off for, I don't know, about half an hour or so. You know, to the point where you can handle it and stuff. And we are ready to dish it up. Hey kid, you, you want some dessert? Yeah, sure. Okay, come get some.
good, dude. That's pretty good. I'm glad you like it. 10 out of 10, my guy. Thanks, dude. And I'm not saying it's just because you're my dad. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> well, thank you as always for taking time to watch this video. We greatly appreciate it. I hope that you can find some rhubarb somewhere near you and try this recipe out. It is something that I really enjoy. Um, please take a second to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be awesome. And remember, if I can build it, so can you. It's pretty good. Yes. That's pretty good. The ice and the cold kind of melt in pretty well. They're doing well. Just sweetness with the rhubarb. Pretty good. 10 out of 10.